Once you uh, asked for a big response after last week's defeat up in Aberdeen, and we got that over the weekend, picking up four points. Yeah, great, um, great weekend from the guys. Um, I thought for you know the best part of Saturday night and the whole of Sunday night, I thought we had our probably the best weekend. Like I say, with a little lapse at the beginning of the third period on Saturday, but um, other than that, it was a uh, it was a great effort all round. And we start on Saturday night. It was a, it was kind of a strange game because as you say, we started unbelievably three goals and. I think it was just over six minutes. And we had another four or five great chances. The game could have been out of sight, but obviously it didn't, was it? It could have been, but, you know, credit to Dundee. They came back hard. They didn't give up. You know, yeah, you're right. We could have potentially buried the game in the first period, but didn't. Um, still won the second period, won nothing. Um, had a good period in the second. But like I said, came out a little bit lackadaisical in the third to let them back into it. But we, um, we held on. We did what we had to do. And that was the first two points of the weekend. Mission achieved. Did you think it was just a, a kind of case of, you know, we kind of thought the game was kind of done early on when we were up 3-0 and just... No, we keep saying there's no easy games. Just just because you go 3 nothing up doesn't mean to say the floodgates are going to open and it's going to end up 7 or 8 or anything like that. Um, every team can play, every team can compete and the Tigers showed that the way they kind of, you know, clawed their way back into it. Just um, We just had enough at the end to, to see it out. And it did end up a tense, a tense finish. It was a great game, obviously, for the fans to watch, but I'm sure you would... I'd rather have it a wee bit smoother. I would have much you? preferred we put the puck in the net another, th another two or three times in the first period, yeah, but that, that didn't happen. So, um, um, like I say, mission achieved on the Saturday night, we get the two points. And we held the skate with the Caps after the game, and that it was another huge success. It was brilliant to see so many fans out in the ice, and I think even Rob, the equipment manager, he pulled on the skates. I missed there. that. I was dying to see that. He keeps <laughs> saying he could skate. I don't know if he actually can or not. I missed it. Maybe one or two other guys can confirm or deny. But yeah, it was uh, another great night. Um, ice pad was, was mobbed. Um, everybody on the ice, you know, helping little kids go around and signing autographs and things like that. Yeah, it's good to see. And then Sunday, we're off to Kirkcaldy. And we went there, we knew it was going to be a tough game, but it was an unbelievable performance for the guys, wasn't it? Yeah, one of our best of the season, probably, from Chambo and Net right through everybody. You know, everybody had a great game. We um, scored a couple of nice power play goals in the first period. Um, second period was tough. You know, they, 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 they staged that a little comeback of their own. Um, but third period, I thought we were um, excellent again. And we did, we came away 5-2 winners and, you know, I thought Chambo was brilliant. He was brilliant all weekend, but there was guys also like Joel and that stepped up as well then when we needed them. I think everybody, like I say, I think the way we played 5-on-5 five five in that game against Fife in the, in the first sort of eight or nine minutes of the game and through the third period, I thought we were, I thought we were very, very good. Possibly the best we've been so far this year. So that leads us on to this weekend. We step away for the league day. We've got a, a couple of Northern League games. With a team we know very well, obviously, Kilmarnock, but we also go up against Blackburn, a team that, you know, we've not faced before. Yeah, and that's what makes it that little bit more exciting. Um, we get to test ourselves against a team we've never played before. Um, we get to fly the flag for Scottish ice hockey again this weekend because there's a, in my mind, there's a misconception south of the border that the our league's inferior. Um, we don't think that's the case, but this, this is a... This is the ideal chance to prove it. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. We don't know much about them. They don't know much about us. So, um, bring it on. It should, um, should be a good night. And it's also on Saturday, it's the the annual Teddy Toss, which is always a great event. And it's something that we always look forward to in the calendar for a, a great cause, isn't it? Yeah, another good charity fundraiser for us. Um, I think last year it was a, there was a lot of toys on the ice at the end. Maybe... Um, Maybe this year one of them can bring a big heavy one and it might land on Gucci or something like that. And um... <laughs> we could always wish. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a great thing. It's a, it's a great thing. It's good to see. And, uh, you know, it's just it's more fan interaction and more charity work and things like that, which is what we're trying to do. So, all good. Well, Lynch, obviously, good luck for this weekend and good luck getting rid of that moustache for next week. Uh, I'm st now that I've taken the handlebars off, I'm starting to like this one actually. <laughs> Plus, the wife hates it, so that's maybe a. Another reason to keep it for another week or two. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens on Friday morning. No bother. Cheers, let's see. Cheers. Dags, a big weekend for all the boys. Four points was them, and four points is what we got. Yeah, I think everybody was happy on Sunday night. Probably pretty tired, but I think everybody was happy by the end of it. It was two they were very very entertaining games. First up on Saturday here against the Tigers. A brilliant start. It saw us race to a, a three-goal lead in the first, I think it was six and a half minutes. That must have been encouraging because there is, lately, well, there is games that we've, we've started very slowly, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, we, it, we do struggle sometimes, at the start, but I think we scored in the first shift at, at, at this game. We came out of the box pretty well. And uh, a bit of credit goes to Stevie for that. He, he, he realised that maybe we weren't in the right frame of mind right off the start. And then 
he changed up what he normally does and uh, it seemed to work. So it was good. And we just but we just couldn't really put the Tigers to bed. Credit to them, they chipped away and they, they got back into it. As a player and obviously you're part of the coaching team as well, is it frustrating when you're in a commanding position early doors and you know and then it ends up so tight and kind of a nervous last five minutes of the game and you, to get over the line? It is, but it, it's a game of momentum. So when you when you stop scoring goals at 3-0, you know, it, it's just as hard to keep kicking on again from 3-0. So anything can happen at that point, but you know, you have to just battle to keep the momentum as much as possible. And Sunday night was a, a brilliant performance. I spoke to Lynch earlier there and it, you know, he mentioned it was probably one of our best performances of the season so far. And it seemed all the lads, you, you knew they were up for it. It was going to be a hard game against Kirkcaldy. What was your view on the game? It was a good game. I thought both teams had had a hard game the night before. They had had a hard game as well. So both teams were uh, both hand, equally handicapped in, in that sense. But it, it was a great game. Um, and it, a bit unlike the Saturday night, we had the same sort of uh, lead in the, in the middle of the game. And then we managed to put it to bed. So it was encouraging. And a lot of players stepped up at the weekend. I thought, you know, I thought Joel was very good. Led uh, showed just, you know, as a captain does. And also Chamo was brilliant in that. Chamo was really good. Yeah, he did well. Joe is a talisman of the team. Like he, that's what he does. And when he's going, the team plays a lot better. No, everybody knows that. So that's great. But then we also got a lot of secondary scoring this weekend. Like, you know, scoring right up and down the lineup, uh, which which really helped us. And then last Saturday after the game against the Tigers, we had our skate with the Caps here, and I saw you at nice with your young daughter. Moments like that, that must mean a lot to you to get the chance to do that, and also a, a great chance to meet the fans. Yeah, it's good. It's really good fun. You know, you're just making memories as you're doing it. I came back to play hockey um, after quite a long period of being away. So you're here to enjoy it and enjoy it with all those people. And, and the fans that were out definitely seemed to be enjoying themselves. And just finally, looking ahead to this weekend, Dags, we've got Kilmarnock on Sunday, a team that we know very well. But first up opponent uh, that we've no faced before and the Blackburn Hawks here on Saturday night. And it's one we look forward to testing ourselves against a team for another league, isn't it? Yeah, I think that the way that it all breaks down, their, their, their league's meant to be a higher league than our league, so it's good to test ourselves. Everybody's going to be excited about it, and it's another home game at Murrayfield, which is good fun. No well, listen, all the best for the weekend, Dags, and we'll catch up with you through the season. Thank you, Mark. Cheers.